Good morning, everyone. I am writing down. Oh, let me pause this for a second. So I'm writing down. I'm sitting here up potting again. These are, I think, the second round of peppers that I tried starting when the first round was a flop. Um, and maybe some extras that I threw in just because I was having some germination issues and I'm I'm worried that I won't be able to fill up Pepperville. How Pepperville? How sad would that be? Um, I think I'm gonna be okay. But so I'm writing down all the varieties that even the second go round were wah wah. So, but I wanted to show you this while I'm sitting here. So I've never had this happen before. I know it can happen. I think I know what this is. Um, I don't know if this little guy's gonna go anywhere or if that's it for him. But he's like albino. Like, see how white he is compared and this is rotunda orange so i did get three that are looking pretty good but then there's that guy so i am gonna up pot him and see if anything becomes of it it's kind of neat so um i just wanted to show you all that if you have any uh information on whether this is going to do anything or what it could potentially become uh, please let me know in the comments i'm curious I want to see you in action. Okay, Let's see how it looks, Deb. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, very pretty. Just wanted to update you all on my bird situation. So, someone recommended like the press and seal. It works. <laughs> I put it up, and this morning she was bashing her face into the window, and she I put it up, and she quit. So, I'm guessing this keeps her from seeing her reflection and breaking her face on my windows. So hopefully it keeps working. I'm keeping an eye on her to see if there's any other places that she uh, might be trying to get at. And then I know it's not the prettiest thing, but it was it's press and seal. The I'll show you. Did I even say what it was? Yeah, this right here. Sometimes I talk to you guys like you can read my mind. <laughs> Sorry about that, but. Just getting ready for tonight's live with Craig Lawyer. So exciting. He wrote Epic Tomatoes. This is the book I'm going to give away. That one there's mine, my well loved one. With, I've got post it notes and notes in there. And there's the other book he uh, wrote. So we're going to get to talk to him tonight. I'm anxious to ask him about some stuff about straw bales. Hello! So I just got done my live. Thank you to everyone that joined me. If you're watching this and you were at my live this morning, it was my first all by myself big girl live um, from start to finish. <laughs> so um, I'm pretty proud of myself. So I'm down in the basement. I'm bringing the seedlings that I just because it was um, the live that I did was me up potting my seedlings, my tomato seedlings. And so I had a couple of flats that I got completely filled. So I brought those down here and I think I had said in the live what I do. Once I'm done up potting them, I water them from the top immediately. So I'm just gonna show you what I'm doing. All right, so this bucket of water here has been sitting down here. I like to fill my buckets and let them sit. Um, there's, I, what is it that they say? Like letting your water sit, like especially it's from tap water, from city water. Letting it, I, I let it sit here for 24 hours. I add some fish emulsion, so that's what's in here. And so this is the tray that we just up potted together. And basically I just gently pour, I already did this side when I realized I should, I should probably show you guys. Just very gently pour and you see it's sinking down in there. So it just kind of settles the roots a bit. And then I will also put some water in 
the bottom here and let, because there's a lot of roots that I just put the tomato directly, the roots and everything in the bottom of the pot. So the bottom of the pot roots will get a nice little drink too. And I had someone, we were talking about like, uh, like when you separate your seedlings out, you tear, whoop, I'm not even showing you guys, sorry. Um, you tear the roots apart. And so sometimes you'll get like a little bit of a shock and your tomato plants will wilt a little bit. So like mine are already kind of like blah, 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 blah. Whoopity, whoopity, whoopity. They're flopping around a little bit, but that's just because uh, they were like that in the pots to begin with because they were getting kind of leggy. But these are the ones I did yesterday. Just yesterday. So you can see they have already started to perk up and look better. So those are yesterday. And these are all yesterday. So they're already like happy that they're separated and they have their own little home to themselves now. And those are the ones I just did <laughs> today. So they're still a little bit sad. So I think the ones I did yesterday that are looking really, really good, I'm gonna be taking those out to the greenhouse. The ones I did today, I'm probably gonna wait till tomorrow. Just let them chill out for a second and acclimate to their surroundings. But I do have, I have some upstairs, some flats that didn't get full. So I'm gonna take my water take this bucket of water upstairs and uh, water those too, since they're not coming down to the basement just yet, but I wanna make sure that they get a little drink since they were just transplanted. Oh my gosh, look guys. Oh, it's already flowered. Oh, I'm so excited. This brings back memories. My mom had a couple of bleeding hearts when I was growing up and I just thought they were the most magnificent. So this one's coming back. It's looking pretty good. I'm so excited. So I'd showed y'all before last year, Ben redid these two beds. So he's working on, if you see the top metal piece there, that's the bed he's working on now. But this bed had a lot of rocks and stuff underneath of the walkway that he built and we had like a really big rain and it all kind of washed down into this bed so what i'm doing right now is i'm just cleaning it up i already did there was a big chunk of it from here to here i've cleaned it up and so i'm just finishing up the rest of it and then i'm going to bring down mushroom compost and cover this bed and then cover just the front part of this bed because I don't really plant anything back here. This is where I walk. So this is like my walkway, but this, um, this could use some soil too. Maybe, maybe I'll do a mixture of soil and mushroom compost right here. Okay, everyone. Um, so I am going to clean this up. It's Sunday. So I like to have this nice and tidy and ready to go. I am planning on trying to get the rest of all of these up potted tomorrow night, possibly Tuesday night, and then start on another tray. What I've done to kind of help myself <laughs> to accomplish that is I've already labeled all the pots that the smaller ones are going to go in. And then I have labeled all the tree tags there and there. Oops, up there. It, it's a mess, I know. It's fine. So that... There's no like focus or thinking going on that needs to be done. All I have to do is put dirt in the pots. So I think that'll be helpful. I've just made up a fresh batch of mine and I transferred the little bit that was in the one bag into a new bag of Fox Farm. So I'm all ready to go. Got my pots sitting here ready to go. So um, I did a little bit of up potting this morning, finished off what was in this tub and then made a bunch of new. But I uh, started this video because I got to show you something. I made a boo-boo. And when I make boo-boos, I show you. Because if you're following along with me and I do something different, let me just suggest maybe wait a couple of weeks to see if it actually worked before you do it too. 
my sweet potatoes. I put them, I've never done it before, two years in a row. I, this is how I've started my sweet potato slips. And mostly just in a window. If you look at last year's vlogs, they were just upstairs next to a window that got some light. And I got slips, and then I also took them out to the greenhouse one year and grew slips that way. Well, this year I thought, well, I'm gonna put them under the lights and I sat them on a heat mat. I don't recommend it. Don't do that because I think I cooked them. They are cooked sweet potatoes. Yep, they're nice and soft. They're not rotten. They're cooked. <laughs> so I'm actually going to take the sweet potatoes out to the chickens cooked. So note to self is the sweet potatoes do not need to be put on a heat mat. That, that was a no-no. But, okay, I came, I came inside and grabbed my phone to put on a podcast because I'm about to start a task that takes me a little while to do. Um, and it's been a while since I've done it, sadly, but there's all the seedlings. These are going to go out to the greenhouse tonight. I think I'm going to take them out around four or five. Even though the greenhouse has a couple of plastic layers on it, I still, it's, it's still probably much more light than what they get here. Um, and you know, UV obviously. So them just, some of them I, I just up potted yesterday during my life. So they're still trying to get kind of acclimated to their new surroundings. I don't want to give them even that much light. So, um, I'm going to stick them out there probably around four or five. They'll get like three, four hours of light and then it'll be nighttime. It is supposed to get down to 30, I think 38 or 37 degrees tonight. So I will be shutting it and turning the, uh, both of the heaters on. I got these pliers. So I'm cleaning the hot tub. That's what I'm doing, but I got to pull this thing out, which is hard to do. And then, so I'm trying to drain it is what I'm trying to do. Dang it. Okay, I did it. I could not do it with one hand, so. In case anybody's interested, you know how I love vinegar. I actually put two gallons of vinegar in here a few days ago. And I just let it be running through the pipes. Still smells like vinegar, <laughs> but it's really good. It it cleans. You can see it's very foggy. So what it does is the vinegar goes into the pipes, cleans out all the muck, and makes sure you don't get a whole lot of like cur uh, like you know cruddy buildup. So. That's my tip for if you have a hot tub and you want to clean it or anything like my Keurig, my water pick, all that stuff that has like uh, piping and stuff that you can't like get into and actually clean vinegar. Okay, I have finally gotten around to trying to mulch up that massive pile of leaves. Um, leaving them over the winter, I mean, I just didn't get around to it in the fall. I should have mulched them in the fall. Reason being, there's quite a few bags that, like these, they're just so waterlogged that it would just be a pain in the butt to try to mulch them up. Luckily, as you can tell, the same person brought me most of these bags. And it looks like, by looking at these piles over here, that he did mulch. He did mulch them with the lawnmower a little bit. Either that or they already started to break down. I do like mine mulched up to like, Oh, not like powder but really really fine so I am going to mulch half of them up with a lawnmower and then the ha the other half that's like really 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 waterlogged I'm just two by two dragging them down the steps down the steps <laughs> and then all the way across and then over to that 
second bin that Ben built me because I'm gonna take off the top layer of the first bin and oh my gosh, what's underneath there is magnificent. I can't wait to, to use it underneath my tomato or in my tomato holes, but that is what I'm working on right now. Just hanging out with my girls. I'll probably take in some of the mulched up leaves and give give a couple bags to the girls because they like to go through it and find any wormies and stuff. Let me just go ahead and do that now. Oh my. Yeah. <laughs> Oh. oh my, all those leaves, just filling this bin up. Look at my wonderful husband helping me. Oh, he's a sweaty mess. Woo, fill that bin up. It'll look like this next year. This thing was filled way high. And it's, um, let me see if I can get underneath and show you. Oh, yeah, like not far below. Whoa. Do you see that a gorgeousness? Oh, yeah, that is lovely. Yum, 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 yum. I just want to be careful because somebody said that snakes like to live in piles of stuff like this. That terrifies me. Terrifies me. Oh, my gosh, what's in that? <gasps> oh, I thought it was like ivy. I don't think it's ivy. It looks like some a bush of some sort. That's fine. I just don't want it to be ivy. It's a big stick. I can tell you that. Eh, stick will be fine. Okay, now I need you to bring down the trash can so then I can fill it up again. Okay. Strong woman. Strong, independent woman. Doing a good job, babe. Okay. I'm done now. I'm gonna. Uh, I'm gonna leave. <laughs> what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave. That doesn't make any sense. I'm gonna leave. You gonna leave? I'm gonna leave. Okay. That's funny. Is it? I'm gonna make like a tree and leave. <laughs> I think it's leave. Whatever. Alrighty. All cleaned up now. Whew. I am pooped. I'm gonna go inside and eat, but I was just gonna show you guys. We redid these last year. They were you know, all, well, Ben did, Ben redid them, I didn't, and what I'm planning on doing now, so these are just, like, outdoor rugs that have been here for, like, five years, so I'm gonna clean them off really, really good as best I can, and then I'm actually going to put, so I have, I don't know if you've guys seen it, oh, let me go up here on the deck, I have this Astro Turf, this is actually, yeah, so this one, it's been really windy, so this blue, <laughs> blew over but this is actually an old football field um that they were giving away big rolls of it and I have a huge roll of it underneath the deck there and because I have enough of it all on my deck where I want it on my deck I thought I could put a big old piece of it down right here and just kind of keep this covered try to keep things from growing on it and uh put the chairs and everything and just have like a nice little seating area perhaps where I can sit and watch my chickens. <laughs> I was gonna try to get it all done today, but that is not gonna happen. 
I'm not looking forward to even hauling the lawnmower in. I'm like, <laughs> but I'm gonna do it. Um, so that's it for today. I'm pooped. Chickens are really enjoying all their leaves. Enjoy your day, guys.